Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to swatch the Inktons pan set. And I've got this little swatch card that comes in the set here, but I've made my own because if you've seen me swatch the uh, Graphitint pan, you'll have seen that there's quite a difference between what it, what it looks like on the swatch sheet and how the actual swatches look like. It's not surprising, that's just a print there. So first we have Sun Yellow. And oh, I need to remember that those are intense and that they're very, very, very pigmented and very strong. I think I grabbed up way too much paint here. Yep, that was way too much. But I mean, you can see how how strong and pigmented and vibrant they are. I am really quite excited about those. But I would like to know from you if you are interested in these at all, seeing as they're not really watercolors. These are, when they dry, they will be permanent, so. And I'm not entirely, still not entirely sure about the light fastness of these. Maybe I'll just make my own light, do my own lighter at fast testing. I think light fast testing is something I want to do more this year anyway. This was Mango, sorry, and this is Poppy Red. Which is a good name. It's a really vibrant, kind of fire engine red. Slightly cooling, I'd say, but only very slightly. And this is Dark Plum. And I have to say, I, I have, I don't recognize any of the names off the top of my head from the Inktense pencils. But I'll have to go through my collection and see if there are any, any pencils that are the same as these. So this is mid ultramarine, which is a bit harsh. Ultramarine's never mid. And then we have bright blue, which looks pretty much like a phthalo blue to me. And this is teal green, which looks like a PG7 green to be honest racing green which is a lovely dark green it's almost a bit like a perling green kiwi oh that's bright Burnt yellow ochre, which is a lovely color. I'm trying not to move the swatch card too much, but it's very difficult to hold it in place at the moment because I don't want to touch the swatches while they're wet. Natural brown. And ink black, that's actually one that I do recognize from the Intense pencil range. There's an ink, ink black in there, I'm pretty sure. So it is an Indian ink, a Chinese ink. And I think there's another one that's called ink something. Some of the dark ones. So do let me know if you want to see me compare them to the Intense pencils, if you're interested in that. And if you're not interested, that's also fair enough. Because, as I said, they're not really, strictly speaking, watercolors. But I am excited to have these. I will certainly play around with them in my mixed media sketchbooks and also in my watercolor sketchbooks because they are paint after all. And I want to see how I can combine them with my watercolors, actually. Because seeing as they, once they're dry... Hang on, is this dry yet? And not quite. So I'm not going to mess with it. 
um, once once they're dry, they're, they're not going to lift. So you can paint over them with other colors. And I'm, I'll, I'll see how that goes. So there we have them all swatched out, I think. Well, there's no real pink in there. This red is fairly middle of the road. So I guess, I guess you can make it a bit more warm by using the mango or the sun yellow even. And you can make it a bit cooler by mixing it with the bright blue or the mid ultramarine or even with the dark plum, I guess. But I mean, other than that, we've almost got a split primary here in the first row because we have a cool, cooler yellow and a warm yellow. That's almost an orange in fairness, but we definitely have a warmer blue and a cool blue. But yeah, I am quite interested to see how how these perform and how I can combine, combine them with watercolors and anything else. So as I said, do let me know if you're interested in seeing more of those or do let me know if you're not interested in them either as well, because I guess they're both valuable inputs. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now. Bye.